Hello everybody, time for the video. Hello everybody, this is the, I wouldn't say continuation, but the follow-up video to what I had been alluding to in last week's episode. Here is the, I'll lower the camera down so we can see the logo better. The Power Macintosh out of the frame not zoomed properly. Fire Macintosh 600, I'll fix that in a later, later cut. This computer and uh, the whoosh accoutrements was donated to me by a friend, or well, an acquaintance of a friend. I have no idea if it works. It was in his workshop. And he basically said, along with the software, and he said, hey, if you help me clean my workshop, I'll let you have it for free. It's like, okay. So, put in a good an hour and a half, two hours worth of working, fixing some stuff, and he let me have it, and he gave me the container of accoutrements and excess stuff. Hopefully, there's a keyboard cable. Is this keyboard uses the Apple ADB connection. That side, or whichever side you choose, connects to the computer, and then the other side can be used for a pass-through for the mouse. Hopefully it works. I mean, if not, if it doesn't, then this will be a rather short video. Or it could be, or I could try to repair it, so. Let me put the keyboard by the monitor, and... I am using a uh, gateway monitor, which it's fine, it has VGA. An interesting thing about this one, um, oh, we didn't that much. Interesting thing about this one is it actually requires an adapter cable to get the uh, VGA signal out. Because Apple decided to um, make their own connector for whatever reason, or maybe it was some standard, but I'm fairly certain it was not used on anything other than Apple. I did look through the bin a little bit, and it looked like there was a system CD. I don't know if this has an operating system installed. It has a hard drive. It has a SCSI hard drive. Um, I, I cleaned off the exterior and, and interior of it, so I don't... Because it was kind of dusty. I don't know if it actually has any software on it. Now let's just open up the container now and ugh, see what we have. <clears throat> okay. Um, we have Either this is a, is this a VG or R I think it's a, okay. This is a severely nasty, which we're not going to use, um, VGA cable, Belkin brand. It's very disgusting and it goes off into the corner. Not to be used. Oh, but we have a nice clean, VGA cable. We could use, but we already have one. So I can go off to the side. Power cable, which we will use for the computer. The Macintosh, that is. This is virtually, well, it's new ish. So. Untwist tie it and set the twist tie off to the side. Cable over to the side. And here is a sealed box. Uh, a sealed box of zip disks. Three piece. I assume unused because they're sealed. And what else? We have some literature, we have 
a virtual PC. What version is this? Connectix with um, software. Okay. And what else? Oh, we have a copy of Windows 95. Well, the manual. There's probably the CD in there somewhere. Uh, what is this? Oh, Windows 95 with USB support. Active Office. Oh, okay, so it's VisiCalc or something. Instant Visual Graphics. It's a plugin for Office 95 and 97. And this is an ADB cable. I hope it's a System Peripheral 8 cable. Because if it isn't, then we will have no way to connect it to the keyboard. Let's hope it's the kid. Let's hope it's the cable we need. It's not the cable we need, but it's the cable we want. Nah, flip it. And an opened zip disk, which may or may not have software on it. Uh, what does the spine say? Spine is too dirty to read. It says nothing. There's nothing on it. I mean, there might not be anything on it. Uh, Apple Macintosh CD, system version. 8.1 for Macintosh G3. Excuse my ignorance, but I don't know if a Perform is a G3. I don't think it is. So that's system 8.1. What else do we have? We have... What is this? I've never seen this one before. Okay, this is... Windows 95 starts here, and Windows 95 how and why. So it's help software, and a, like a walkthrough for Windows 95, so that's interesting. Uh, ooh, this is... Ew, God. This bag needs to go away. So what was contained in that nasty bag? Uh, system recovery CD for a great quality PC, which was the even cheaper version brand owned by Gateway. This is a Graphics card, Win DVD, great quality. Okay, this is graphics, I think. Yeah, graphics card drivers and motherboard software and USB software for a computer that I don't have. Okay, and this is upside down. There's a modem, because this will be super useful. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Getting down at the bottom of this. Some of the stuff I might not take out, because it's just so disgusting. Oh, this is another modem. I'll just leave this in the box. And here's a mouse, an original single button Apple mouse, ADB, so we will clean this off actually because it's kind of junky. And the Apple video to VGA adapter. We will need that if we ever want to have video out.
a loose zip disk. Which, what does it say? Let me wipe that off. Okay, this says G3 Original Backup 2. Don't know how useful that'll be for us. And, oh god. The rest is just pretty much crap. We'll set this aside. Because this isn't needed right now. And I will reposition the camera and hook up the cables and we'll come back. So, quick jump cut later and we're back. The system's set up, sort of. I don't know if it'll turn on. It might, it might not. I, <laughs> the cable that I unboxed wasn't the proper desktop cable, but I did hear that you can use an S-Video cable instead of the, you know, in replacement for an ADB cable. I don't know if that's true. It does fit, seems to have the right pin out, but it might not work. It might just poof, explode. So without further ado, we'll turn it on and see what blows up. It's plugged in. I don't know which is the power button. Is it on the keyboard? Not doing anything. Hmm. That was anticlimactic. Uh, so, okay, here's what's basically going on. I brought out the other one. There's, I got two of them. There's a Performance 600 and a, what's the other one? 7100 slash 66, okay? And right now, the Performer 600 does nothing when you plug it in. It doesn't power on, it doesn't do anything. I mean, it's a project. So I was like, okay, cool. Not cool, because it's annoying. Fine, let me get the other one. Maybe that one works. So I grab that one, plug in the video cable, plug in everything, plug in the power cable, and here's what we're up to. This is what we get. You press the power button. And you get no image on the screen. You get no power pong. You get nothing. But the hard drive does spin. When you connect up the um, SCSI and power, the hard drive spins as if it's trying to start. But it doesn't, and the optical drive has burnt out belts. Just perpetually spins. So there's a lot of work to be done, but not right now, because it's late. And I think I'll edit this, uh, part one of Unknown. So if you liked this video, it's not super exciting, but if you liked it, make sure to thumbs it up, drop a comment down below. Look forward to more videos in the future, definitely about these systems, other systems, the Commodore, and um, see you in the next video when I film it, I guess.